Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a collective love reading for all signs and any sign that you may be thinking of. This is a no contact, low communication reading uh, for somebody that you're thinking of. We're gonna ask spirit, what are the thoughts and feelings in this connection? Any guidance spirit has for you? Um, do they miss you? Are they returning? Anything Spirit wants to share with me today for my no contact? Thank you, Spirit. My heart was blocked. I was not available to receive your love when you gave it. Okay, so we're going to get some messages on the table, see what my energy feels. Spirit, I am listening for you now. You are perfect in my eyes. Don't ever change. I should have listened to my intuition. All those secrets I, I kept caught up with me, each and every last one of them. So were there secrets? What did they hold back? Sorry, I did not see your value and worth when we were together. That's usually the case. That is usually, I don't realize what I have until it's gone. And it is a sense of... Um, that, you know, I took I took you for granted for for sure, but I didn't realize what I had. And, you know, now you're gone or now we've got to do a lot of repairing. Can I have a couple more of these spirit before we get into some cards? I'm feeling emotionally void without you. So that is really important to know. That is something that I'm, you know, they're struggling with. Deliver me from temptation. A little bit of um. I'm trying to not just, you know, reach out to you and cause chaos or havoc in your life. You know, if you ask this person to just give me some time, give me some space, something like that. I feel like I am struggling with, I need, um, I just need some time. I listened to the wrong people. They were wrong about you. So family or friends that interfered, something like that. You will always have a special place in my heart. No one else can fill. So obviously they are still thinking about you. There you go. All right, let's see what the cards are saying. Spirit, please share with me. What is it that you need me to hear in this connection today? Let's see what we have. I have a six of swords. I have an emperor. I have a star and I have a magician. Boy, I got to tell you, this is coming into me as I want to win you back and I'm going to do everything in my power to win you back. So th this person has um, made up their mind to try to get you back and try to win you back is really what's going on because they do not like this feeling of you pulling away. They don't like seeing you go further and further. Spirit saying um, you're what they wanted. Um, maybe they took you for granted. Maybe they weren't putting in the effort. They were putting more time and energy into themselves with this emperor. But between this star and this magician, it was it was pretty clear to me that I'm going to show you that I can change. Look at all those butterflies. I'm, I can show you that I can change and I'm going to fight for you. This feeling of, I don't want to see you pull away. I don't want to see this. Um, I can feel you getting further and further away and I'm going to change or we're, I'm going to change and show you something because I, I don't want this distance is how I really feel. So very much a feeling of I, I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. So the good news is they're realizing now that, you know, if you had to push this person away, maybe that's bottom of the deck. I have a king of wands, king of wands. I have a justice card. So here's this beautiful energy of I'm going to be ready to commit even, you know, maybe, maybe you push them away because they wouldn't commit. They wouldn't say one way or another where we were headed. And 
So sometimes the blank hits the fan to, I don't know, make somebody wise up to, they are going to lose you. Because if that's something that's important to you, you're not going to wait around forever for somebody. You're going to find somebody else that does want to be with you. So it's, it's a feeling of they're waking up. All right, let's see what else they are saying. I have a zombie. I felt like I was in control. Okay, so this zombie energy of I was just going through the motions. I, I wasn't really even making, you know, contact or eye contact with you or, you know, looking you straight in the face and saying what I felt. So, you know, I don't want to live with a zombie. I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to live with a zombie. I want to be with somebody who's connecting to me emotionally. I want joy, rejoicing in the present. Look at this, arms wide open for those of you that watch me all the time. So I do feel like it's coming in. I'm going to say the fall energy only because of the falling leaves. So this could be a very um, close reunion. This, this is not far away. I'm going to say it that way for some of you that, you know, we're going to, you know, make up, we're going to figure this out. So it's a little bit of a, um, you know, the leaves are falling and the, um, it's, it's brisk is the word. I feel like the weather is brisk. <laughs> um, you know, it's not quite winter, but it's getting chilly. So, and then I have scrying. So I have this, I have just been trying to listen to my intuition and my intuition just keeps guiding me back to you or my intuition keeps letting me think about you. So this person is trying to go deeper within their soul, which I would give them credit for if that's something that's not their thing. Sometimes pain will do that to us. Um, it's not like they're trying. It could be that you're just missing you and all this kind of grief is coming forward. So sometimes it just kind of pops into your day in weird ways and hurtful things. And, and all of a sudden you realize, you know, it's it's a void. It's 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 a void I can't fill. I have a four once. I have a feeling this person's going to come back and commit a four cups. They've been holding out. <laughs> it's like this is probably what we've been fighting over is this. I, I'm not ready to commit. We want different things. Stop pressuring me. Uh, don't push me We're, you know, that's not what I want, something like that. But at the end of the day, I think they're going to try to make you happy and they don't want to give up on this love and they're realizing that they do love you. So I'm not sure what the commitment is. It could be anything. It could be that I just want to be with you and I don't want to be with anybody else. Or it could be a formal commitment that, that you've been asking for or that you want or your family wants for you and you can't stay the way that you have been going for if you've been in just a relationship dating for years, something like that. So it is it is a sense of I'm going to lose you unless unless I really um, bottom of the deck, I have a magician again. So there's the I want to prove to you Ace of Cups. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's a repeating pattern in, in both um, both decks, both spreads. It's this sense of I'm going to um, try to win you back. And that's nice because they're realizing uh, I'm definitely missing this, this connection. And I really didn't think I ever, you know, it's almost the person who is so stubborn or their ego is so high that they think that they're never going to lose you, that no matter what they do or say, they're never going to lose you. And then it's like this huge wake up call when you say, I want something else and I don't deserve this and I deserve to be treated with respect and honor and I don't deserve this. And, and all of a sudden they're just like blown away and shocked that oh my God, I actually could lose them. So they, they were taking this connection for granted or they were not appreciating what was right in front of them. And when you don't have it, it is um, it is a wake up call. Let's see what some of the feelings are. Sometimes I feel like you would be better off if I disappeared, but I can't let you go. 
So there's a little bit of a back and forth with, are you better off without me? Or would you find somebody else that would commit to you and give you what you want? But at the same time, they don't want to let you go because they love you and they're just being stubborn with, with um, they've made up their mind and on some kind of level about what it is that they think is right. Um, so there's, we got to find a middle ground. I save everything you send to me. I'm sorry I don't always know the right response, but I'm coming up with better answers. So a little bit of a delay, like they may not be writing back to you in a text message. They may not be responding to you. Um, you know, maybe they completely cut you off at this point. Um, so that was very hurtful. So um, hopefully they're thinking about what it is that they do wanna say. And I've got, you are perfect. I'm sorry I keep messing up. A little bit of a, I'm willing to take blame. I'm willing to realize that I wasn't there for you or I could have tried harder or we both need to try harder. There's two people in this connection. I'm not putting the blame on any one person. There's always two people. I've searched for you and others and nobody compares. Now, that's usually what happens. It's they start dating other people. They start talking to other people and they're not really interested in anybody else. When you're in love with somebody, you don't look around. When you're in love with somebody, you aren't attracted to somebody else. I don't know how to explain that one, but you're really not interested. And that could be, you know, I'm, I'm out there, I'm trying to be single, but it's not working um, because you're in love with somebody else and your soul is saying, this isn't what I want. <laughs> I want my person, where's my person? All right, let's see what else they're saying. I'm now focused on doing the work and healing. So a little bit of a change of heart, a little bit of a, I know I've got work to do. I know that um, it's not going to be easy, something like that. My life is falling apart. I believe that a little bit of a, I messed up, <laughs> you know, emotionally messed up without you, or I'm a basket case on, on certain days, certain times. So believe it or not. Um, I want to feel your touch. It could be as simple as that. I, I just want to feel you. I want to kiss you again. I still feel connected to you, even with you gone. That is truly a soul connection. That is somebody that um, can feel your energy, no matter where you are in the universe. Um, you were the right person at the wrong time. That feels like an excuse that maybe this isn't the right time for us. And then they put it into the category of if it's meant to be, we'll get back together. Well, you both have to want it. You both have to work at it. Um, you know, it doesn't just happen. Somebody's got to pick up the phone and talk to the other person. There's apologies on both sides. Spirit just said, you are constantly on my mind. You are constantly on my mind. So absolutely. One day, I hope you will accept my apology. So I feel like there's apologies on both sides. I'm, I'm going to say, um, I think that that's important for some reason. Whatever, whatever's happened, I, I just don't feel like it's any one person that has done, you know, so much harm. It's, it's like a collective. We're just not where we're supposed to be. Um, so we're going to have to both work at it. And, and if we want it, I messed up big time. Um, okay. So a little bit of uh, some backpedaling with that. Maybe that's the beginning of the, the apologies is whatever was the start of all of this. And then maybe, maybe there was a feeling of, something happened and then you did something that you shouldn't have done or said and it just kind of escalated is how how I feel I feel like I just you know I wish we could I wish we could have said things differently I wish we could have done things differently spirit please share with me where this connection is headed what is it that you want for us I have my best self. I want to be my best self. So this person's trying to just work on themselves. Maybe they're getting in better shape or taking better care of themselves, trying to just do some healing. 
intensity or in our connection is so intense and that sometimes scares me. My feelings for you overwhelmed me sometimes. Please reassure me by taking things slowly and patiently. This will help me feel comfortable with the changes that are happening. So obviously there's an incredible intensity in this connection. Um, could be very seductive energy, could be a high chemistry, but maybe things were moving too fast, Spirit said, and I had to push this energy away. I have open. I am getting ready to share what's in my heart. I know that this is love. It's true, unconditional and everlasting kind of love. I want you to know I'm trying to open up, but it's so hard for me to put my feelings for you into words. But I know that I have to do this and you need to hear them. So we need to open up. We definitely need to hear what they have to say. And I feel like it starts with an apology of some kind. So that's where we're going to start. And what else? Hold me. I need to feel you in my, my arms around you. Things are not right in my world. And I am longing for your embrace today. Please send me your love so that I know everything will be okay. So I want to hold you. And here's this beautiful energy of very romantic energy, but it feels like just tell me that everything's going to be okay is really the message and that there's going to be a day that we're going to be okay. And we're going to get there. I feel like we just have to get over this hurdle of um, apologies and sharing our feelings and communicating openly. There's a lot of love here. So I, I wouldn't want to walk away from this love. But I do have somebody that is realizing uh, what they had. And it's not that far away, this reconciliation. It isn't. So um, they've made up their mind. Uh, they've messed up big time <laughs> in some way. And they're going to try to win you back. So let's put this out to the universe. I pray for, for all of you. And we're going to ask Spirit to bring this to you soon. I want to thank Spirit for these messages. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you always for your kind words and your comments. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.